Hey everyone, quick promo. I have a new channel member only video out right now. It's me playing Pal World again. I don't have a title or a thumbnail yet, but it is out today. And I don't know. Welcome back to another video. What is up, you guys? I'm Fresh Cut Slim, and today I'm just going to do a little movie review. So I went and saw the new Dune movie, and how do I say this? It is so good. It is so good. The shots in it. Like, the way it's filmed, the visuals look so good. It has got to be one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. And it has the same actor that did the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, the new... Well, it's not even called that anymore. I don't know what the... I, don't forget, I forget what the movie's called. It's the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but it's not called that. I, it, I don't know what it's called. But it has the same actor. Like, the main actor is the same in both. And I tell you, he is so much better in this movie than the Charlie and the Chocolate. Like, he's he's good in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He's doing what he's supposed to do in it. But I guess I'm just not... You know, it's an it's a, it's a decent movie. The Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one. But I definitely would prefer this Dune one over it. Okay? And the Dune... Dune is so good. This movie is so good. I did not see the first Dune. I didn't even know there was a first Dune. I went to the movie with a friend... At the end of the movie, like, I watched Dune. How do I say this? It sounds like a backtracking. There's a movie f called Dune from 1988, I think. And I watched that this week, this past week. It's a great movie. And when I went in to, to see this movie, this new Dune, I thought it was going to be a continuation from the 1988 movie. And... When I started, I, I started noticing similarities to the 1988 movie, and then, you know, at the towards the end, I came to the conclusion that it is basically the exact same, but a whole much better version uh, than the 1988 movie. Like, it has, like, the exact same almost everything. And at the end of the movie, when we were walking out of the theater, I was telling my friend, you know, this seems kind of, uh, you know, it, it's a great movie. Like, I, I'm saying this is probably like a 9 out of a 10 movie. Like, it's so good. But I was saying to him, you know, it's, this is a great movie. But I found a lot of similarities, or it just seems like they're copying the first one. And he's like, what are you talking about? This is totally different. And then I'm like, wait, what? Are we talking about the same movie? And apparently, we, we weren't. That there's actually another Dune movie that was made in 2020. <laughs> and... And I guess it's the first part of this. Because I noticed this saying part two, like when they, they uh... It said Dune Part 2 or whatever, and I figured, oh, it's 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 continuing on from a 1988 movie. Kind of a, kind of a long wait for another another part of the movie to come out. What is this, Dory? Or Finding Nemo? So, after I learned that this wasn't actually the first one, it makes a whole lot more sense. So I, I really want to see the first one now, because this one basically mirrored the 1988 version, but it, they did it so much better. I mean, obviously, the visual effects and the money went into it so much higher. But I loved it nonetheless. I loved it nonetheless. I In the 1988 version, the main character, I forget his name, Towards the end, he reveals how powerful he is, or he, he has become. You know, he's almost like a, a superhuman being towards the end of it. And that's kind of what I was hoping for towards the end of this Dune movie that I just saw. And although it's somewhat similar in that way, they don't go as heavy with his abilities. And that is kind of, that is probably the only part that I was a little bit let down towards, because I was really excited to see how powerful he would become. And it kind of let me down. Yes, he was powerful. But compared to the 1988 one, which I was comparing it to, it's not as powerful, so I was kind of a little bit let down there. But by all means, this movie that I saw was fan friggin tastic So I, I just wanted to make a little review. I'm rating it like a 9, 9.5 out of 10. I can, nothing's ever a 10, but this is amazing. Like the visuals, everything. And like even the shots with the... I, I think they're called Arakan. I don't remember their... Um, I'm so bad with the names, but the, these bad guys, they're all in black and white. The shot, the shots are almost all in black and white. And I don't know, something about that gives off, it gave off this eerie vibe, which is the idea because they're evil. And they have a lot of weird practices and there's this so much evil. But it, they, it, they, the way it's filmed and it portrays it is so good. But that's it for my review. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend you probably watch the first one, which is, I think it's on Netflix. 
like the one that I didn't see, the actual 2021, I think it's on Netflix, and then go and watch this new Dune, I would say you don't really even need to watch the first one as I didn't, but it is an amazing movie. But yeah, whatever. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>